Hi, I'm Delilah and you are watching RWD TV. I am strong when I'm quiet. I never let you see me stop. I can't hate what you say. This week has been a nice eventful summer festival week. Um, I performed at Park Life on the main stage, which I think, I think it was my first main stage performance um, ever. So that was kind of nuts to be on the bill with, you know, like to Dizzy Rascal. It's sad that we're in and out because we don't really get to stay and watch all the acts. But in Nottingham, I got to watch Labs's new, Labyrinth's new set. So um, I hadn't seen that since he first started touring and he has just come so far. So it was really a good moment to see a friend do that. In hindsight, I kind of like having the separate name, although everybody knows my name now, so when people really want to get my attention, I've got fans that scream out, hello, man, I turn around and I don't know them, and it's an awkward moment. But um, yeah, I like having it separate. It, it sort of forces me to become bigger and better than myself. I like the Euros because I think it brings everybody together. Football is, um, I used to be a lot more into it. I used to play football, actually. I was the girl with the studded football boots for Christmas. And if you got me shin pads and matching goalie gloves, I was like the happiest kid ever. So um, yeah, I was the only girl in the football team and I loved it. And I remember we went to, uh, to the Arsenal football ground back in the day and you know, I had a little play and I am a gooner, so you know. But generally, I think it was just really good timing and being in the right place at the right time. Once I signed, hard work. Lots and lots of hard work. But before I signed, I just happened to be very blessed and very lucky. And people saw something in me that maybe I didn't even see in myself. So that was how it happened. And once I signed, the hard work began. <laughs> and it, to, to, to this day, it is, um, it's a lot of hard work, it's, but it's very rewarding. And um, yeah, it's all good. Taking photos and stuff. I hated taking photos. I just don't look like anyone else and, and you can easily take an awful picture of me and I think it was something I had to get over quite, 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 yeah, I had to get over it because I, I never really focused on the way I look, I always focused on the music and the music and the music and um, then suddenly you're thrust into camera world and this lights camera action and then people judge you and at first I found it quite hard, people's opinions and you know, I have a, a different looking face and features and, and I think people either love you or hate you <laughs> when you looked different. Um, so that was something I had to go over. And now I'm just like, oh, right, whatever. <laughs> now it's just, you know, you have to, you know, you have to decide what's important to you. I wouldn't call it diva, I'd call it strong-willed. I definitely am a strong-willed woman. If I'm wrong, which is really rare, I will happy to admit that. But usually I'm right, so yeah. <laughs> it does sound bad when I say it out loud, but it's the truth. You can't, you know, it, it's, you know, I've written these songs and I've kind of, the whole thing has come from my imagination. So um, no one could really be more invested in it and in touch with it than, than I am. So taking that on board, I am a little bit bossy sometimes when I really believe in something. And I think you should be. If you believe in something, then you should fight for it. And occasionally, I fight for it. Until I, you know, I'm at the head of the bill and it's a sold out show and literally no one can move or breathe because it's so packed out, it's make or break. You know, every show for me is important as the next and um, I give it everything every time I walk out on stage and every, everything is, is, is just equally as important until you get to where you imagine you want to be and I have really high aspirations so um, I doubt I'll ever be where I want to be because I'm always striving. I kind of have high aspirations and no expectation. So just keep going until you can't go anymore. I wrote Breathe when I was 14. Um, wrote it in my mum's living room on the piano. Breathe was the first song I wrote in first person. It's like a self-help song. And um, yeah, it kind of says it all. The first line is, I'm strong when I'm quiet. Um, you know, lines like fall on my knees and I won't bleed. It's 
the first song I didn't write about he or she and I just went straight to I. I heard there was an opportunity to support Prince, but I thought it was one of those, I got a great live agent, I thought he'd managed to wangle me in there somehow, and I was like, okay, it may never happen, but it's amazing that it's on the cards. Then I heard, no, 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 it's actually a personal request from him. He wants you, he's kind of seen you online and he wants you to support him. So I was like, wow, and that's amazing. But I assumed again that I'd be on tour and we'd, I'd see his purple shadow and that is it, you know, I wouldn't... You know, you'd, often you're on the same bill as people and you don't get close to them because it's just there's always a lot of people around and he's Prince. And then I got a call saying, oh, he's, he wants to talk to you, he's going to give you a ring. And I was like, okay. And I uh, got a ring about 11 o'clock and he was like, hi, this is Prince. I was like, hi, <laughs> how are you? And we started chatting and he was really cool and chilled and laid back. And, and um, he was like, I love your music. And I went, I don't know if I can even swear, but I went, oh, he went, I'm a big fan of your music. And I went, oh, fuck off. And then I went, oh my God, I just, I just told Prince to fuck off. And then I realized there is American and I was like, no, no, don't actually fuck off. It's just a British thing. I mean, thank you. That's what I mean. Thanks. So um, after that, it was great. We chatted about music and he, I had a great time with him on tour. We hung out a lot and he's amazing. I love him, I actually miss him. <laughs>